The world as we know it is undergoing great changes. Technology and science are rapidly transforming our lives and the pace is often disorientating. Innovations used wisely can open the door to a new era of extraordinary opportunity. This revolution has been fueling the creativity of men and women around the globe. These visionaries are inventing and implementing new solutions. So open your eyes and get ready for an amazing journey to 2050 to dream the future. By 2050, consolidating our link to the sea will inevitably mean protecting marine ecosystems, starting with those of the coral reefs, highly sensitive to environmental disturbance. To protect them, we first need to better understand these complex ecosystems. These colonies of tiny animals are the greatest builders in the world, behind the most massive living structures. Extraordinary underwater coloured cities, formidable oases of life that shelter 30% of marine biodiversity. They serve as a nursery for millions of baby fish, night shelters for many species, and larders for many others. And that's not all. By breaking the waves, these reefs protect the coast from erosion. Hundreds of millions of people also depend on them directly. But today, fishing, tourism, and especially the rise in the temperature and acidity of the water are seeing the coral reefs bleach and die at an alarming rate. 25% of these reefs are currently in danger of extinction. And if we do nothing, another 25% will be under threat by 2050. In order to prioritize, we must be able to evaluate their state of health as quickly as possible. On Curaçao in the Caribbean, that's the aim of two researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Marine Biology. They're testing the prototype of a new instrument capable of exhaustively measuring and automatically analyzing the state of the reefs more quickly than in the past. It's a unique ecosystem which uh, we don't know so much about yet. There's, we're constantly finding out new things. My name is Joost and Han. I'm 33 years old. My ultimate dream is that we are able to successfully protect coral reefs. There's a lot at stake protecting coral reefs. And one way to look at it is doing surveys. And this is a very time-consuming process, so, and because you cannot dive forever. And afterwards, you have to go look through all your pictures, to your film material, to your, all the notes that you took. And so it can take hours and hours of just trying to find out how healthy is your reef. But with climate change, time is not on the scientist's side. To speed up observation, Joost's colleague has the idea for a new instrument combining artificial intelligence and real-time digitization capable of analyzing the whole reef, the hyperdiver. The ultimate goal, I hope, is that we have healthy and good reefs. This is a tool to perhaps make that faster and the quicker decisions we can make, the better. I am Arjun Chenu. I'm 31 years old. I believe that we all deserve and can have healthy oceans if we get together and work on it. The human eye is sensitive to light in only three small bands. And this is a band that corresponds to red color and green color and blue color, right? And therefore, our normal cameras that we use only pick up those three colors and throws everything away, all the other data. So if you ask yourself, how can we do better? Well, the answer is quite simple, which is don't throw that light information away. And for that, we built the Hyperdiver. 
At the core of the hyperdiver is a hyperspectral camera capable of taking pictures in all wavelengths of the visible spectrum, as well as in the near infrared and ultraviolet. This camera allows you to measure extremely precisely with one pass the light signatures of all the elements that make up the reef to better identify them. To be fair to the hyperdiver, it is not just a camera. It's a floating observatory. We're measuring light intensity. Uh, I have a little way of understanding the altitude of the hyperdiver from the bottom, and I have a depth sensor on there. And using this, we can identify precisely where we are relative to the reef bottom, and therefore map the bottom of the reef and find the topographic profile. And depending on the setting, we also include chemical sensors to measure the oxygen level, the pH, and capture all that data at one go so that you get a comprehensive view of the reef, an ecological snapshot as we swim along. So that's a nine meter line. Okay. And we're going along it. So this should be the line starting here. The hyperdiver is frighteningly effective on the water. Back on the surface, its digital brain reveals its extraordinary potential. Oh, this big patch here. What's that? Just stop it here for a second and we can take a close look at it. So this is a coral called madrasis. The hyperdiver doesn't know it so well yet. Right, so I'll mark this patch here. The hyperdiver is built on a machine learning technique. After we've done a survey, we compare our scan that we made with a high-definition video. And when I, for example, see an organism that it does not yet know, we have to teach it that. Because you have to see it as a brain, as a young child, basically. So these two correspond with one another. Look at the spectrum of this coral we picked out. It's got a massive absorption, and the spectra just drops down here. It That's looks right, to yeah. have a lot of pigment. Yeah. So I guess it's doing pretty well. Quite healthy, yeah. OK, so I'll mark this for training. Yeah. We're essentially creating a little teaching library so that we can train a computer program to then learn all of that knowledge that we've taken from multiple human experts, condensed into a library of knowledge, which basically identifies reef organisms versus spectra. And now the smart thing is that when we tell it what it is, and we tell it more often what it is, it actually gets very, very good at recognizing this coral. So the more often we feed it information, the smarter it actually gets, the more universal it gets. Then this program can turn around and say, now I would like to try to identify a reef. And then you can give him images that you have not analyzed, you have not touched, and it will automatically analyze that image and give you information, and very, very rich information. When the hyperdiver is able to analyze all the world's reefs single-handed, it will constitute the largest database on coral. Tomorrow, we will have direct access to all these data in our diving equipment. We could thus take the pulse accurately and in real time of our reefs and our oceans zone by zone. Information that will allow us to react as quickly as possible to better preserve species and manage marine resources in a more sustainable way. I think the biggest challenge is to understand that it's okay to have a complex story. We try and oversimplify everything and therefore we either jump to Im immediate and extreme optimism or then just sustained pessimism, whereas what we need is a more nuanced response. The oceans evolve over these very slow timescales, thousands of years, but we're hitting the system right now with a change in forcing that is absolutely abrupt and sudden and profound. In terms of turning this all around and changing the trajectory we're on, there's really only one way to do this effectively, and that is to stop our emissions of carbon dioxide.